a taste of goodness okay guys welcome and welcome back to my channel this is vanel cooks and today i'll be sharing the recipe for this delicious palm nut soup this is a personal favorite so please stick and stay and let's cook together okay so this soup is popularly known as a benkwai in ghana and banga soup in nigeria so as you can already tell this is a staple of african cuisine and we do not play when it comes to our benkwai this soup is packed with so many nutritional benefits it's rich in vitamin k is in black clothing amongst others so if this sounds like something you're interested in please do the nipple so we can get to it have you done it let's get right to it y'all okay so in here I have some neatly cleaned goat meat and chicken but I'm going to properly clean them with this hot boiling water let that sit for about two minutes so we can get rid of the redness and the blood okay so look at the liquid now you can see that it has this color from previously now the hot water also makes it easier for you to get rid of your unwanted fat okay okay so you can see the difference between the meat now and the meat before although the first one was equally clean okay so now i'll add my parboiled goat sugar that has the same tenderness as my meat now so getting started in a blender i'll add some chopped up onions cumin seeds anise seeds rosemary add some water and heat that a blend okay so i'll add my blended ingredients to my goat meat chicken and Okay, so next I have some tomato paste, homemade ginger paste, garlic paste, and some maggi cube. I'll leave the link to how I make my own ginger and garlic paste recipe down in the description box below, so check it out, okay? To that, I'll add my beef seasoning, chicken seasoning, all-purpose seasoning, some chopped up onions, and last but not least, my bay leaves. Cover it up and let it boil in its own juices for about 10 minutes. So moving right along to the rest of my ingredients, I have some tomatoes, one medium-sized onion. In here, I have my soup lavender, which is the aiding fruit of Percocet. I have some okra, old wrinkly garden eggs, habaneros, and some ginger, okay? And now for the rest of my proteins, I have my smoked catfish and some smoked salted fish or poku as we like to call it yeah smokiness. And if you don't get the smokiness i don't know how or what kind of a benkwan you are doing <laughs> so checking on our meat it has cooked beautifully mm. the aroma guys the aroma is already killing me at this point okay i'm not even playing the sauce around my meat has thickened up beautifully which means it is on the right track However, I'm going to be adding my vegetables in at this point, i.e. my onions, tomatoes, ginger, and my habaneros. Okay, so once all that goes in, I'll add a tad bit of water and bring it to a boil. And now to the start of the show, our palm nut. So this palm nut has been pounded and it was mixed with some techie berries or kwewususa as other people call it or abejo and in my language we call it in salmon choba okay so yeah this is very healthy and very good so i already added some hot water because mine was frozen at the point so i just wanted to defreeze it with the hot water just like you saw so now i'm going to add a tad bit of cold water to make the water look warm so that I can go in there with my hands and then squeeze out the juices from my pulp but if your palm pulp is not frozen please just add lukewarm water so you can go in there with your hand do not burn yourself okay it is not necessary at all just add some lukewarm water and you will be good to go I'm just squeezing out the juices from the palm pulp as you can see bring everything out make sure you get your money's worth okay allow this liquid to sit for about a minute so that all the particles and kernels will settle at the base and then you go ahead and strain it into a different pot okay this is done so that it will be easier for you to get rid of all the sand like particles or kernels that may be transferred through your strainer okay Okay, so in an attempt to be more efficient, I'm going to repeat the same process for the already strained pulp. Okay, so I'm going to add some hot water, let that sit for about two minutes and then I'll get back to it, okay? So I'm checking on our meat and vegetables. Mm. 
the aroma guys mm, i can't even take it so i'm going to take out all my vegetables because they are ready and give that a blend okay while that is blending i'm going to take my poku and add them to um, the rest of our proteins okay yes i'm making way for it to get into contact with the sauce because this fish is super salty and so i want it to release all of its juices into the sauce and make it more flavorful than it already is okay once that is done i'm going to strain my blended up vegetables into what we already have going on in the pot add some more water if you need to please be mindful of the amount of water you add at this stage because there's a tendency of one adding too much water way before your palm liquid comes in and that would not be pleasant okay so please be mindful of the amount of water you add now you can always add more later oh, yes give that a good good mix and then bring to a boil for an additional 20 to 30 minutes yes coming back to our pulp i'm going to just repeat the same process i did with the initial one however i hope you notice that i don't pour everything into my strainer i leave the little bit that has all of the particles the kennels and everything in the transferring pots this is because i do not want to be tasting all of that particles or kennels in my soup trust me you do not want to taste that in your soup coming back to our soup after 20 minutes it looks so thick it smells incredibly good it smells so good you guys the aroma is killing me at this point so we're just going to give that a good there and introduce the magic of the day <laughs> our palm liquid yes we are just going to gently introduce that to our soup Give that a good good mix and bring it to a boil for about 20 additional minutes okay yes okay so it's been about 20 to 25 minutes now and the soup has been cooking beautifully so i'm just going to add some more water to you know loosen it up a little bit give it a good stir cover it up and bring it to a bowl for an additional five minutes okay yeah now to my soup lavender you guys saw that i was already praising the aroma of my soup now this right here is the magic y'all this has so many medicinal benefits so i'm just going to make some indentations on my precursor so after the indentations you are going to roast it for a little bit because this is how i feel like i get the maximum aroma that i want out of my aiding fruit okay so i'm just going to introduce the aiding fruit to my soup and then I'll go in and add my smoked catfish. Yes, smoked catfish for some more smokiness to my soup. Okay. So it's been about 20 to 25 minutes since I added my precursor in catfish. You can see the oil forming on top of my abram quine, which indicates that it is on the right track. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and add my vegetables, i.e., okra, garden eggs, and my habanero pepper, and let it simmer for just about five minutes, you know, and our soup will be pretty much ready. You can completely omit this step, or you can use any vegetable of choice. As you can see, I'm trying to skim off the excess oil because we don't need all that and we can be using that to prepare something else later and this oil is so flavorful anything you use this to make it's going to taste absolutely delicious okay so this means killing two birds with one stone y'all so some enjoy theirs with fufu whilst others enjoy theirs with white rice either ways it was absolutely delicious thank you so much for cooking with me today i hope you enjoyed yourself because i sure did enjoy the cooking myself now gentle remarks Reminder that the first step to every tasty meal is cooking with love. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!